Next question is regarding a protocol known as Cartagena protocol on biosafety. Okay, Cartagena protocol on biosafety, it is a protocol conducted on this Columbia. Okay, in order to protect the species, if you are ongoing any genetically, any genetic uh, what modification. Okay, so it is a Cartagena protocol is a protocol for biosafety. That means, will be um, modifying the gene of some animals or some plants right so that will that will result maybe result in some danger threat for the other animals for example if we are modifying a gene of any plant species okay and 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 that species will be plant species will be taking more nutrients from the underground or it will be adapted to take more water from the soil in that manner that will suppress the native species other plant species okay so that's why we in order to avoid such things so that's why uh, if we are doing any modification of genes of any living species we need to ensure safety of other organisms right that's why we adopted this cartagena protocol on biosafety okay and that is dealing with the living modified organisms or we can also call it as genetically modified organisms so this protocol deals with the uh, genetically modified organisms living mod or living modified organisms their making or their use or their export or their handling all these are dealt by cartagena protocol on biosafety and it is also dealing with the transboundary movement of this living modified organisms because we will be transferring that uh, modified organism into some other countries okay and that may be also uh, that uh, there will be chance for becoming alien species right or uh, invasive species okay so that's why it will be also dealing with the transformative movements so the trans cartagena protocol on biosafety okay it's the first international regulatory framework for safe transfer handling and use of living modified organisms okay and it was negotiated under the convention on biological diversity we know earlier we discussed about cbd convention on biological diversity it's a treaty established under the uh, or it was a treaty what it was an outcome of rio summit 1992 rio summit cbd okay under that cbd provisions of cbd under the ages of cbd we got this cartagena protocol on biosafety right so cbd's cop was held in uh, january 2000 okay in 2000 there was a cop of cbd by that cop of cbd we got the cartagena protocol on biosafety in order to protect the species bio uh, biodiversity from the effect of living modified organisms okay so the objective of this protocol is to contribute to ensuring and adequate level of protection in the field of safe transfer handling and use of living modified organisms and that are resulting from the modern biotechnology okay that may have adverse effect on the conservation and sustainable use of biology diversity so it is also dealing with sustainable things okay so it is also taking uh, in account of the risk of human health and specifically focusing on the transboundary movements right so these are the main points regarding cartagena protocol on biosafety now let us look at the question it is an international regulatory framework for safe transfer handling and use of living modified organisms that is their aim ok for it we adopted this port protocol so first statement is correct so if the first statement is correct we eliminated C and D b then second statement the protocol was negotiated under the ages of cbd so that's also correct because we said that in to the uh, in 2002 a, C, a meeting of a cop conference of parties of cbd was held and okay under that only this cartagena protocol was adopted so it was an out uh, it was negotiated under the cbd so second is also correct then third the protocol specifically focus on transboundary movements that also we discussed here it is also dealing with the transboundary movement of living modified organism because we need to protect the other species found in the other regions, other states, other countries. Right. So here the answer is 1, 2, 3.